honorable member of parliament for Mwandi. He's not, he's not following this list. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing the people of Mwandi through me to contribute to the motion on the on the floor. First of all, I would want to state during the orientation, one of the ways that I learned was a political. And I was looking forward to seeing this. When we came and the Minister of Finance was presenting the budget on the 29th of uh, October, anyone who was watching saw that the people that were excited more than the UPND were the people on the left. As the Honorable Minister was announcing the 30,000 to be employed, I could see the, the, the Honorable Members on the left almost standing and cheering. They were excited. But as we came on Tuesday to come and debate the budget, I'm so shocked it's now a mirage. They have changed. Madam Speaker, I stand here in full support of the well-balanced budget. I'll quote one of the former president, the late uh, President Manawasa. He said once, Ignorance is bad, but little knowledge is dangerous. Therefore, even when you are commenting on the figures, when you have little knowledge to those page number 50 or 44, you will end up misleading the, the house. The, the budget that we are currently debating is in balance. We, the people of Mwandi, Mr. Speaker, sir, are very excited. A rural constituents for that matter. Mwandi constituents in the education sector, if you go to schools in Mwandi, you will find one teacher or two teachers. PF has, in, has been in power for 10 years, including the schools where the PF are coming from. They are facing the same challenge. Here today we have a budget that wants to employ 30,000 teachers. And you are opposing. Who are you opposing? Not only are you opposing this budget in the house, you are opposing those teachers that do not have jobs. You are also opposing our children who are looking forward to benefiting from those 30,000 teachers. You are also opposing that girl child in Mwanti that lacks an opportunity to go to school because of lack of teachers. The teacher to pew pew proportion as we speak in my constituents is 1 to 80. How do those children learn? It's difficult for them. When you come to the health sector, it's a sorry sight. If you go to Mwandi today, you will find how overwhelmed our health workers are. You will find your children also that you've trained not having jobs. Today you come in this honorable house and you are saying that this budget is a, is a mirage. No. Today, every well-meaning Zambian should come on this floor and support. You know, in that moment on the 29th of October, I think the members on the left forgot that they were the opposition. And we came in unit and supported it. Even as we left, they were cheering. Because this government is going to construct 120 20 schools. Some of those that are opposing on the left do not even have a secondary school in their constituents. They came on this floor and said, we do not have government constructed schools. Here is an opportunity for you to have those government constructed yeah, and you want yeah, to oppose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Decentralization. Every well-meaning Zambian should support this cause. Because the reason why some are opposing is because our resources were centrally managed. Which means that there was a lot of corruption because that money was in one basket. Yeah. But today that money is going to be taken to the constitutions. So that means it reduces also the risk of corruption. Yeah. It will not happen. Yeah. For those that are saying that they don't have capacity. For the people of Mwandi, we are actually overcapacitated. Yeah. We are ready to give you Alpha UTA, to give you that technical assistance. So that you can have, you can manage the 25.7 million. Today, as we speak, a person that passed in Mwandi, needed to come to apply for a bursary here. That was very difficult. And therefore it denied children that deserved because the, the, the bursary was centrally managed. Today those bursaries are going to what?
development committees. Surely who should who should oppose that? This government and this budget means war well for every well meaning Zambian. Free education. Free education. I remember honorable members coming to this house and saying the people, the UPND will promise free education. And here we've come to deliver. Including those that have children that they don't support. They will be supported in this budget. Free education. So we as a people, that girl child should benefit from this free education. And all of us should be able to support that. Road infrastructure. Today, if you went to Mwanzi, you'll be shocked. We don't even have any road whatsoever. The Kazungula Sesheke Road has been signed. It has been a song. PL failed to do that, but they had that road in 10 years. Today, we are receiving good news that that's an economic road that all of us will benefit from. Every well meaning Zambian will benefit from that road. That's why, as a people of Mandi, Mr. Speaker, sir, we are in support of this budget. This budget speaks to us. That agriculture, that farmer in Mwanji is being given an opportunity today through this budget and SMEs to also add value. We are looking forward by next year to seeing products that are being done from Mwanji being in shop right. Yeah. This is all con contained in here. So as we are opposing this, we are not opposing the members of the, on the right. We are opposing the people of Zambia because this is exactly what they are looking forward to. And Mr. Speaker, sir, I'm an accountant. This budget has balanced. No one should come to this house and tell the people that this budget does not balance. It balances. Which balancing do you want? It has balanced. If you want, I can challenge the members on the left. Let them go back to the budget that they presented to this house last year. Let them go and extract the same figures and come back and report to this house. That is, we do not want ignorance or exposing little knowledge because you end up misleading the people of Zambia. With that said, the people of Mwanji are in support of this budget. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir.